in your gums with Vinny and Hesse. Yeah. All right. Welcome back, guys. So here we are, episode two. Uh, this is Flapping Your Gums with Vinny and Hesse. That's Vinny, and I'm Hesse. And we're excited to be back. Uh, it's now 2023. We just went through the new year where we had our Christmas Eve was our first episode. Now we're into our second, and we are in the new year. It's 2023. We made it through Christmas. We've now made it through the new year. Uh, our weather was pretty terrible here in Fallon, Nevada. Also here. Yep. Yep. Yeah. It was a uh, it was a wet one. So, but uh, we needed. Still rainy. We definitely did. Yeah. We had the rain this morning. It decided to snow bunch a second time, and then just piss rain all morning and flooded. The city was out with their pumps, having to pump the rivers, basically, was what our roads had turned into. So, But that's the use nice, for nice, Fallon. Nice. So we like that. But yeah, so what what'd you do? Dude, how did uh, Christmas go? Well, first, <laughs> let's talk about... Yeah, yeah we got... We're Christmas getting, Eve, we're we had parties. Christmas Eve, we had a great podcast. Uh, you had the, the Mormon party. And then I believe we had a what we would call a no, Jack Mormon we just, party. We stuck with just one okay, party. Okay, so Jack and Mormon party got. In case anybody's wondering what the Jack Mormon one, we didn't really elaborate on it too much, but it's like you can booze it up and carry on with your other Jack Mormon friends, but you got to get right with Jesus on Sunday. So that's the Jack Mormon way. <laughs> Don't let nobody Jack know. So you didn't Jack Mormon it. No. No, Mormon. we uh, it. played, uh, you know, we just went over to my wife's aunt's house, played some bingo, got some prizes. Uh, we went over to another uh, uncle's house, and uh, he's got a basketball court at his house, a uh, full-size basketball court that they just finished weeks ago. And uh, the kids were all playing basketball and just running around and stuff like that. And, yeah, we were home by 10, just getting ready, finished wrapping up. You know, getting stuff out under the under the tree, stuff like that. Hit the, got to bed about two, and then uh, yeah, unfortunately at quarter to five that morning I woke up and I started to kind of puke my guts out. So, and then, uh, and then it turned. Yeah, and I mean, and the then other. where did we? Then we rolled to the downstairs. So, yeah, then, and then, then rolled. Well, over you to had the, the whole plan. Side, so. You had that whole plan for breakfast with the. We kind of hit on it last week. Our last episode. right with my was, wife's ex husband and his fiance. Yes, yeah, that's yeah. So they, that we, we told them so, I was sick. They still came. Okay, yeah, that was that's cool. So they had the breakfast without you. Yeah, oh, yeah, excuse me. Yeah, <coughs> they had breakfast without me. Yeah, I didn't get to see the kids open their their gifts. It was it, it was a rough day. It was a rough day. Mom and dad, yeah, they didn't want to come over and get sick, and and our other brother and his family, they didn't want to they didn't want to come over and get sick either so so yeah they dan and ashley stayed for a couple hours and that was that was their time and they just got out of here and then it was just kind of just moping around not doing anything so you were yakking in the night and then let are we yeah then it turned this to or what because then you no, crapped your pants no, it is yeah pretty much yeah so we got yeah it was it was rough <laughs> so you're, you're, were we? Uh, it was like you were we fall sitting asleep? on the toilet and with a garbage can, or like not trusting a fart, and then All trusted a fart, All or didn't it. make it to the nope. bathroom, or how? The, oh, All so you it. okay? It, it was multiple so did times. Did you trust the fart? No. Did no. not. I woke up. You didn't you, trust. You wake the fart. up and you're just like, oh. I gotta go, and and you're running for the bathroom. So. So yeah, it it was it was it was bad. Did you man? There was a shower did you man it up? There, man pawn it up or no, did you just no. just risk it just just, just risk thought it. you were gonna make it yeah. there in time running down your yeah. leg getting in the shower wow. throwing yeah. the underwear away much. the whole exactly. the whole <laughs> all of it <laughs> merry christmas this is what we talk about yeah we, we save all <laughs> these conversations we have yeah. during the week for you guys so you can visualize yeah. my uh well because we, i'm sure despair. there's people out there that have done it there's been so you know many people mean? sick on Christmas Day. I'm sure on Christmas Day, like you're not the only one, but it, it, yeah. so maybe not even the only one that it happened to on this Christmas. 
on this Christmas. That's like, yeah, that's true. Yeah. I mean, comment right. below. I feel your if pain. You're listening. I feel your comment pain. Comment below if you're uh, listening, just and and maybe you don't shot tell yourself. your brother about it next time. And, in, and yeah, he won't I mean, don't have a podcast. And don't tell your brother. National podcast. Here. <laughs> Yeah, and, and well, it. thanks for all the listeners from the first episode, and hopefully we can yes. get a few more on this second episode. Wow. We That's apologize my if turn we may away. have scared some of you away. <laughs> so, I mean, you got you got to be involved. Ow. We don't know where we're going with this, so sometimes <laughs> it, sometimes that happens. Good, yeah, we didn't uh, – I had zero of that, so That's that good. was good. So, good. yeah, uh, no poop in my pants. Had a great uh, – Just keep bringing it up. And Just – so Keep shoving it didn't up. It's great. Get it on my sheets or nothing. So <laughs> you know, nothing, nothing like that. Didn't have to shower. Didn't lose any underwear. No lost, uh, lost underwear left behind there. Uh, and so other than that, yeah, we had a good one. Christmas Eve was great. We went to the candlelight service. Uh, we did the Christmas morning stuff. Alexa got up super early. She decided to get up at like four fifteen in the morning. Uh, I don't even know. Like the only time I get up that early is for hunting coyotes, and we most certainly weren't doing that. Maybe she was hunting Santa. I don't know. Could have been. She could have been trying. <clears throat> so she did. Uh, she did decide to go put herself back to bed. She was like, I woke up and I was like, Oh yeah, oh wow, it's early. And so she went back to bed. So we always do like the the pre warning thing. Like if you get up early, like don't wake us up. Uh, you have a stocking. And you can go get into <laughs> right. the stocking. Right. And that's, get in that's the stocking, what you got. Yeah. Pull it that's all what you out. got. Really quietly, super quiet, like that kind of thing. But she went back to bed. She got back up, you know, somewhat early. But then we went to the Christmas stuff. And then we go have a Christmas dinner with uh, her sister's in laws. So that right. worked out really well. It was fun. It was cool. And then, yeah. yeah. Go the ahead. The next day I woke up, I was perfectly fine. Yeah, he was sleeping on a bag, <laughs> tarped up. He was. Uh, <laughs> we had Monday off from work. Thankfully, you know, it was still just kind of a slow day and just a little I drizzle. Said my, said to my wife, "I'm like, hey, oh, it wasn't raining. Uh, no, I don't, <laughs> I don't think it was raining." Yeah, I, was I said, "Let's go check that. out." The I wasn't talking about sales. that drizzle. <laughs> I know you weren't. I was trying to just go by. Don't avoid it. Just everybody knows. People don't forget. I mean. This episode is literally like seven minutes ago. Poop your pants episode, apparently. So <laughs> I'll put it in the description. Be, don't yeah, you worry. It's great. Aaron shipped yeah. himself. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we had Monday off from work and made it through that, and then went to work. But uh, our our biggest gift for the kids, we didn't give them a whole lot of things because uh, we did leave Friday the thirtieth. Uh, we headed to California to do Disneyland on Saturday and California Adventure on. On Sunday, the cool thing about Disneyland on Saturday for New Year's Eve, they stay open till two a.m. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But uh, so you can get a total of four rides in because they stay open yeah. till two. It so was is that the Disneyland rain. side or California side or is no, that both? Disneyland side. No, the Disneyland side stays stayed open till uh, two, and the California Adventure side stayed open till one. So nice. and you have to reserve which park you're going to be in when you get a two day. Uh, ticket so yeah. like back in November we had to say we were going to be at Disneyland on Saturday California Adventure on on Sunday so yeah right. you got to make sure you you do that because if you don't then there might not be room available for you they'll say be like sorry this park's not available and you're already there and you're like uh, I bought tickets and they're like yeah, yeah. you got to reserve your day we can only pack so many in this joint but it was raining um, we left at like 5 got pizza went back after we dried our shoes and stuff, which was pointless because they were wet before you got to the park, walking from the parking lot. So, but yeah, they the kids figured out how to really get the fast passes working. You know, they'd all they had their own control on their phones, and yeah, they did some some shady. Let's just let's just call it shady. Uh, well, some I mean, if, if you're able to do it and it's on an app and it's hey, like they it's they didn't app. perfect it, well, I'm sure other people have done it. You know what I mean? There's, they have. Oh yeah, like I mean the the workers are standing there just as cold as we people. are. They're under their yeah. umbrella. They're like, we don't care. 
Yeah, let's it's go. eight o'clock, nine o'clock. Let's keep the keep the ride moving. You get that one thing. genie scan for a group of six, and then you just go through. It's like you're super so excited because you only had to wait forty five minutes instead of ninety. Forty five, fifty five minutes instead yeah. of one hundred and eighty. Yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, but Sunday California things. Adventure, California Adventure, it rained for like fifteen minutes total for the day. Like right, like one little section, a little thing came through, very light. Um, we did that. So then on that Sunday. was the next day, right? So that was the yeah. twenty. What day was that? That was the first. That was New Year's Eve. That was New Year's New Day. Year's day. Okay. New Year's Eve, we were Saturday at Disneyland. Fireworks. They canceled the fireworks. No fireworks. No fireworks. Raining, raining, raining too much. Yeah. 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 Rides so we did on, shut down. We uh, did not go to do that. That was uh, <laughs> we stayed here in <laughs> we we were here in Fallon. They had a Ooh. the bull riding Top Gun. I think it was called Top Gun Invitational or International or something. Bull riding. Nice. So they did it at the C3 event center or arena they had. Just here. bull riding, no barrel Straight racing. Straight up no. bull riding. Yeah. Nice. Just, yeah, it's rad. They did a really good job. They they put it on, they filled, they packed the place. It was snowing, and then it got to, I don't know, it was kind of like sleet and slush, and then it was like, because it was kind of raining a little before, and then it started snowing, and then. Now, you, you know, everybody's going to – it's like rookie night for getting all tipsy. But we had a fire – the firehouse was having a little party, you know, and it was like they do food and games and kind of that stuff. Family members, you know, kids, all that stuff are more than welcome uh, to be there. And then they got a – we get a DJ there and stuff like that. So the only thing is he had double. So we had two two events going on, basically, firehouse right. – so we went there and ate tacos and stuff and then bailed out and went to the the bull riding right. and went through that and stuff like that. My team that I looked at, that a buddy and I and a couple, there was two other guys that we looked at buying a team in the Calcutta. They were in first, like got both of them because they pair up the teams and it's a whole thing, but we won't go into that. And then uh, they ended up, they were sitting first in the second round uh, the other another team came out and got him, but we didn't get that team. So I was sad that they didn't win, but also I was not so sad because I didn't. Really oh, you didn't bummed. have money on it. I'd have really been bummed if I was like, ah, that was the team. I should have had that one. <laughs> right. So, but they did a good job. They had a live band afterwards, so all the girls went and did dancing and all that stuff. We were supposed to go back to the firehouse for the new year but it was like 11 30 11 40 or whatever and we were still at the well stay. arena so we stayed the band was good they were rocking out all the girls were you know hip-hopping around and dancing and carrying on then we loaded up and went to the firehouse for a little while and then came home and took a couple gave a couple people rides home that were uh had been drinking unable to drive bit. yeah their their vehicles were too drunk to drive so that's right mine was it so we drove them home. So that was good. It was cool. And then got up the next morning and carried on. But that was the new year. And so here we are now, just ripping and gripping. Yeah. So I yeah. did want to bring up some stuff. I, I kind of write some stuff down as we're going through when we're talking about stuff. And uh, I had some uh, DYI stuff I wanted to bring up. Okay, and well, tell them how we came against, up with this part. Against Vinny. Uh, I don't. You go ahead. I don't know. Was it was we were talking well, about it? We were we talking to put about. It in? Wait, wait. We oh, were, first, we hold were, on. What happened with a certain uh, relative of ours when I believe you were leaving Vegas uh, on our way to California? Yeah, we went. So you had the, driven how many hours? We, we, so one word of advice: if you're going to go to California, don't go. I don't know, the Friday before the Rose Bowl, if the Utes make it to the Rose Bowl, because everybody in Utah is driving to California on Friday. It was every sticker, every flag, there's cars driving Ute flags. It was, uh, yeah, it was insane. So we get to the end of, we get to the end of uh, south side of Vegas to get fuel to head into California. And, and for some reason, um, the other family member we were with uh, decided to, uh, get back on the freeway to head to salt lake we've been driving for i don't even know eight hours it, it, we'd been in the car forever and we just got, i got on the freeway to go to los angeles and i looked in my mirror and i'm like they 
I think they got on the wrong one. And as we were driving under the bridge, they were on the on ramp going over, and I pointed up at them and laughed as they went up as we went underneath them. And uh, yeah, his daughter's That's like, awesome. Uncle Aaron's laughing at us and pointing, <laughs> so <laughs> she could see me through the window. <laughs> so he had to yeah. go. I mean, I don't. We were past. We were past South Point, I believe, and uh, they had to go all the way down to the Raider Stadium to get turned around off three-way, get back on, and, and catch back up. So that kind of cost them, I don't know, 20 minutes, roughly, 25. Got them a penalty 20, right minutes. there. Yeah, I, I forgot about that part of it, and I was like, oh, man, that's a doozy one. That's a good move well, right there. So the was, DYI thing we were talking about, uh, like the if We DYI, were talking on the phone while we were working. Most everybody knows it's do it yourself. Right. And so Vinny is really, he's a do-it-yourself kind of I'm guy. really good at DIY. Yeah, o- almost 100% on DIYs. Now almost. by 100%, we're talking 100% finished on the project before we start another one. Or another we one. Get, or another one. Right. So we yeah. get... I, f- I feel like that's and I, like... We get, we get 90% done. It's you no, know, We get it to where it's like, okay... 85. <clears throat> 90 sorry sorry. baseboards got to be 90 percent. it's baseboards and trim but that's not but anybody wants to make a comment if you redo a whole room and you've got baseboards and trim left on there what percentage would you call that room now you're saying but you're saying the first project or are we saying not because like you do one bathroom and you have baseboards and that's 90 percent about the closet done what about it well was it finished yeah the outside was sheeted and everything yeah, before so you started the next well, project? That clause. Okay, so we're going to go back to that. Yeah, the project's sheeted, but it doesn't I have any say, trim. I was just saying the DIYs. It has no the trim. DIYs. I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't know, know we were one. starting on the closet. I didn't know where we were starting. It's the I mean, same project. It's diff- not same project. It's the same. <laughs> you do the project, you build <laughs> the closet the, on the listen, outside of the, the house. it's the same so house. It's the same house. It's the same project. Same project. <laughs> <laughs> it's trim. It's just trim work. Yeah. Get it all done. Drywall's done. It's painted. Electrical's done. Everything's done. There's siding on the outside. There's just none of that uh, that trim. And uh, I guess that one's trim and paint. This is the closet. That's the closet. The outside Bathroom the closet. was baseboard. And then we and had a closet. What was the pantry or something? The mm-hmm. Shelves. Painted. That one's done. No. Was, I thought you had something that needed nothing could get put in it until you got the paint done or something. Uh, The closet at the end of the hall? That, we t- that could yeah. be it. No, it's shelved, and it's full. Is it painted? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we're it's here. got a door. Nobody so sees it. Close the now, door. I, I think we're like. Okay, so coming, one wall is like not coming painted. Back from one the wall. So one wall. Come back for one, okay, one wall. One the wall. Of the one, the out of one three. Wall. Oh, one wall's not painted out of three. Correct. Okay. Out of the three, yes. Yeah. The so door handle, of it's door's painted. painted. Huh? Yeah. Two thirds, is that what we're doing? One wall is not painted, the other two are? That's right. So two thirds of, okay. Those so two walls now, were already painted so when I built it. Like so I didn't have to 90? paint them. We're still at 90. Oh, perfect. <laughs> so they were already painted. <laughs> so they were already done. So, so are we still two separate closets? Or are we back? Two separate off? closets. Okay. That's two separate closets. Two, two projects, projects going simultaneously unfinished. Yeah. Okay. Now next project was a bathroom. Okay. Is we so we still Gutted. have two projects. Yeah. Almost finished. Almost. 90%. 5%. 90. 90. We're going ninety. Ninety percent. The one I'll say that I'll say the the call closet one I would give you a ninety. Because I got to paint a wall. Yeah, I mean. So outside, I got to run little. It's got shelves, but the other closet has shelves painted, painted. carpet. Yeah, okay, all right, I'll it's go, all done. Okay, we'll stay. But I think I feel like if we're going over project to project, it should be lesser. Not it's as a whole now. No, it's ninety so percent each bit. project. Yeah, but there's like almost a year in between each project oh so oh that's even oh that see that seems really bad <laughs> so we're a year into these two projects and we have yet to finish we're, and we're starting a bathroom now 
that we're yes. going to completely regut. Okay. In three months, we gutted it and put it back together in three months. Three months. New tub, new tile, new floor, new vanity, new toilet, uh, the tile on the floor. Uh, everything got done in three months except for there is no door handle on the closet. We built a linen closet inside and the trim around the door and the baseboards. Okay, so that's the bathroom. So that's all you have. Like everything else is good. Shower's good. Toilet's uh, right good. now, Handles the bathroom only needs a door handle. Okay. We've done the trim and we've done the baseboards. Right, and th so it took you they three months there. to do the bathroom. But then, what was the time from there now? A year. So we're, you well, started the bathroom, and it's been a year. This is just to help uh, people know, like if you're gonna DIY six it, if you're gonna do it yourself, I feel like. You get on YouTube, and you're like, you check out YouTube, and they they have like this professional dude that has every tool that they need for that that specific or particular job, and then you watch these guys. They're professionals. I think they probably have a crew. Some do, some don't. I'm just throwing this out there, and it's all edited and clipped. They're like, oh yeah, dude, you can just do this. You got this. Take this tool. Take this. This. You're like, okay cool yeah I'll, I'll make do with this i'll make do with that and you're like this doesn't work like no that ain't it 17 trips to the hardware store then i'm back and i'm date you know and these dudes got it done in supposedly days after i've youtubed it and i and then like this so i i'm just throwing it out there as the to well, to that's help their to, job to help like a lot of times that we have like to know diy well, is great and it is cool and it is satisfying when you get done <laughs> But just realize it's going to take you at least three times longer than you would think that you saw on oh, YouTube easy. or the manual. Well, this told you know you. you're like, oh hey, or I'm a, this is if a, you're Vinny, do it myself. You can just rip out like three projects at one time and just drive your little brother nuts <laughs> with going from one job to the next job without finishing the last job. The it's usable. <laughs> the bathroom is usable. The kids needed a bathroom. We had three months. We were using one bathroom. Yeah. And we got it usable. I, I yeah, but yeah, I understand that. But but yeah, I would yeah. say I so would I'm say we, I'm not I'm not I'm not I wouldn't say the opposite of how Vinny is, but I'm most certainly like uh, if if I start into this project, like I am head into it and going. Even if it's like a small thing, I don't, and that's just how I, uh, that's just how I am on it. Like it snowed the other day, so Alexa was like, "Oh, hey, we're gonna, we had to go run to the store or something for whatever." I looked everywhere for a snow shovel, everywhere. Like who doesn't have a snow shovel? That's like a a man that doesn't have a wheelbarrow. Like you didn't have a snow shovel at your house? No, I mean I thought I did. I should have. Where did it go? I don't know. Maybe I left it at the trailer park talk about Maybe. DIYs <laughs> let's go into that subject so uh yeah I looked everywhere and it's just like it's just one of those things and when I say the trailer park because we built a house and we lived in some camp trailers which I will tell you is the people that do that good on you like that's pretty impressive Not and you saying, have one child yeah I have one yeah. child a couple dogs <laughs> you know what I mean like so it, it definitely if you, is if you had a, a couple thing. kids but you talk oof. about simple it's simple living i mean you get you get into it you know it's like you you, you kind of get in that routine and stuff like that i think the biggest part of it is is probably if you're in like a camping site where you got your crapper hooked up to a, a hookup you know probably winter time gets a little sketch because <laughs> the thing wants to freeze up on you but they probably got cool stuff for that that's got like heaters and wraps and coils and keeps him keeps that poop line really nice and slick but when i'm having to go out there and it's cold and i'm hooking up this little cart thing with Dumper. wheels and i'm like <laughs> plumbing and dumping my, my, my crap in there and then wheeling it out and then you know disposing of it in a set in a septic tank like that's a little that's a little bit you know alexa dude she was like Oh, I can't wait to get to a house so I don't have to go outside to go to the bathroom. Not saying that she's going outside and using the bathroom, which I don't know. Maybe she did. I'm not going to say yay or nay. 
but she would have to go outside because they we were parked along the side of my wife's sister and her husband's house they have a bathroom in the shop like in the back of the garage right, right there so yeah. she has to go put her little shoes on truck outside i get it first world problems but it's just the whole thing so that's where it comes back here yeah, now i come back sorry to detour then we come back and i'm looking everywhere for the shovel and i'm just like i have a shovel like it's red and it's got this cool little most of them handle. are red or blue what yeah yeah most of them are gray. red or blue a gray it's all gray one mm-hmm. actually used one so but like it had a cool curved handle so it was like i didn't have to lean over it was longer because i'm a little bit taller so i get to like nice one i can't find that thing anywhere bane probably ended up eating it you know <laughs> it's probably crapped out in the yard multiple places looks like a freaking peppermint plant out there you know and uh yeah i can't find it so what i do i just get i mean whatever i improvise i get a flat nose shovel and i'm like well i'm just gonna do a walkway like the path like out front great thing i love having a huge driveway guess what i don't love having a huge driveway shoveling when I got a, a huge driveway cocksucker <laughs> So, yeah, so I'm out there with this little flat no shovel, and the neighbor's like, hey, want a snow shovel? I was like, sure. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't, because I'm just going to do a little pathway. No, now what do I got to do? I start shovel shoveling the, the driveway. Snow. Now I got to shovel the whole driveway. <laughs> so then Alex is like, Dad, I'm going in the house. I'm like, hey, can you take the shovel and hit the back? Like, hit the walkways in the back, and she's just like, okay. She goes back there, comes back, and she's like, I go out there, I open the thing up that the, she's been done. She did it. I was like, cool. I go looking for her. She's in the house. So, and my wife's like, uh, yeah. She was like, I can't go anymore. My face is freezing. It's like, <laughs> I thought you guys were going to the store. This is in the morning. Like, we're just running to go get uh, breakfast. So right. here it is. I just get going. And now I got to I scrape my whole walkway, do the whole driveway, do down on the sidewalk in the front. And then i decided to go get breakfast it's terrible i can't do it worked up an appetite blender went out diy or mixer what do you call them mixers you know the little hand ones it's got the little beaters oh yeah mixer yeah yeah Yeah, beaters not like these beaters but like beaters (laughs) 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 yeah you have to watch it on the video. It's hard to explain on. It's hard to explain on the audio. Uh, so, so she, this thing quit, it starts clanking together. You know, like the little beaters start beating to each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know where we're going. Yeah, the <laughs> so, uh, what do I do? I take the whole thing apart. Tasha comes around the corner. And is like, what in the world? I got this whole thing on the counter torn apart because i'm trying to get the gears the gears are messed up so i'm undoing the gears and swapping them so that the teeth will grab each other so they won't wobble around and hit each other and right. she's like you know i could just buy a new one they're like 27 dollars i'm like oh well, that's an expensive one. one yeah you know i could just what they're cheaper oh yeah yeah so Go i was like wall, well, yeah, well i'm already committed i just fix this one i put it, i take the time sitting there now i'm committed because i've right? got to try apart. to finish you I can't gotta have that pride and fix the job it. Sure, you so can't I, throw it in the trash, go down and buy a new one. <laughs> just set it off to the side and go take apart the vacuum. It's cool. We just work on something <laughs> else. And so, dude, so then I get there, take it all apart. I get the gear switched around. I put it back together. And then there's like a, a – you have to kind of get the little hook things right or else they do just ding, ding. So I take it back apart, put it back together, get it spinning again. It does the same thing. It was trash. I threw it away. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I was super excited about that. <laughs> You're like, yeah, yeah, you could have been, yeah. Yeah, DIY, I mean, some, talk about it. Yeah, there's but some it's like 90%. It, like okay, you just so the bathroom. Going. The bathroom. I mean, it's usable. But I think then you went into the kitchen. You start some kitchen stuff or what? Like, we did some back yeah. tiling. You got some cabinets. and We got, I no, well, we, we gutted the, the kitchen, too. On the towel. No, we gutted the kitchen. You pulled all that tile off? Yeah, the tile was old. That was before the bathroom. We just put tile up just to. But have I thought a you went splash. with the white, and then it looked like Subway, and then you went with the. No, gray. we just it was Subway tile. We did with white, and then uh, we were debating on going gray or white. My wife chose to go with white. Uh, you know, I chose gray, but you know how that goes. Mm-hmm. We did the white. That was that was just to kind of spruce up. We did the epoxy countertops. That was before we did the closets. That was just a. 
that was like a you know we did the epoxy stuff in two days and it was done and then we did the the tile and, and it looked good and then this year we tore it down february we're coming up on a year now we, we started we tore everything out of the kitchen in february um like ripped out the cabinets ripped out uh the flooring and then cut some carpet down the hallway and took all the carpet out of the living room so the flooring would all flow from the kitchen to the living room down the hallway we redid the ceiling in the living room um did like yeah that was that one turned into a kitchen slash living room project and uh got it all at the same time we're still waiting to do tile in the kitchen we don't have any what's it got in there, in there laminate was it uh, there or does it have tile on the no, floor no no we went to uh oh the floor's got laminate and you're, the you floor, say we you're did tile the floor no we got to tile the backsplash oh we got to okay. tile the backsplash but we picked up at uh, family dollar they've got sheets of plastic that looks like tile with an adhesive back on it you can buy each sheet for a dollar so i've got a bunch of that stuck all over the over the walls and you know if you walk through fast and don't really look at it, it looks like it's tiled yeah you just it's usher a, them into the through into it's like oh yeah see, uh, see, keep yeah, moving, right, keep right. come on in here we're going in the living room. but yeah we put we put new lights up in the ceiling of our house is old so it didn't have any power in the ceiling at all so we i ran power up there while i was in the walls of the kitchen i was able to run power up through there and get it up in the ceiling and yeah older houses there's a lot i'm sure there's a lot of people that most certainly can relate to do working on an older house some of the stuff that i mean projects you run into and just over and over i mean it's like yeah it, it is you are definitely uh you got to be committed when you start Yes. working on your own place it's like when we get the bath when we get the bathroom i rewired i mean i ran a new home run in there so i ran its own circuit to the bathroom and it's uh it's on its own circuit it's not connected a lot most of the bedrooms all the ceiling lights so like down one half of the house all the ceiling lights they just junction boxed them in a closet light like all the wires run to it from there they run to another one and then from there they run to another one so yeah if you if you want to replace a light in any of these rooms the power from that light runs a daisy couple other rooms so like three other places they daisy chain the lights yeah oh yeah which i get i mean i know like the, the committing on doing stuff i i mean sometimes you just got to commit and on a project and just go with it kind of like growing a pepper I Growing a pepper, about, you're all. We talked about episode one. We said we'd talk about a pepper. I the we talk about Sean going 100 percent in. You, I mean, you're gonna do it. Let's do it. Like I think once you get going, it's kind of it's. They're my babies. Basically, is how it oh. turned out to be. Are we talking about the let's plants? See, or are we not, talking about the actual look, there's peppers? Two, there's two. Two what? There's two, two plants. There's, there's two plants. Possibly, I don't know. So. Basically, I started this, uh, I don't even know, I couldn't even tell, it's been a long enough time <laughs> that... <laughs> it was before the trailer park. <laughs> the, before the trailer park, and I had a buddy, Braxton, and uh, he had just moved to his house, and he had like, he built these big old planters and stuff, like big wood ones and... and For the that. outside of the house? Yeah. Yeah. And so, and then he had, but he had stuff back in this little shed out back, like a little, like, it's almost like a mother-in-law's quarters type thing. Had a bed, you know, heated, that kind of stuff. Anyways, long story, this, this is like a long time ago. And I don't, I don't really want to say like how long ago, maybe like years, could be. And so, <laughs> and so we started growing this pepper plant and I, I gave it to him because we had moved to the trailer and I had nowhere to put it. And like, and then he put it out there, and then no, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, what kind of pepper plant, and where did you get it? Yeah, uh, well, so, so that one, no, this was the first one. Oh, this is a different pepper plant. Yeah, we lost that one. I mean, <laughs> it was a sad day, but we did. I killed it. Like the the part of that one is had the pepper. Braxton takes and puts this thing in there, and basically forgets about it. 
but it stays like temperature wise and stuff so it keeps like <laughs> hibernates and grows and it's doing stuff but it's like an inbred one like it's your family tree and it's just like one one like my family tree no no it's, it's your family like, tree. A, like an inbred family tree straight up there's oh, no gotcha, like gotcha. branching of it it is right straight up and this thing ends up being it's two and a half three feet tall and it's running straight right. up there's there's no branches there's no leaves there's no nothing on it it's just a stick that's growing up and it has little sprouts <laughs> coming on it and i'm like okay cool so i get i get into this new house and i'm like well i'm gonna i'm gonna put it in this i'm gonna i got it at my house and like it's not doing anything so i'm gonna buy a little grow house like that's what it needs like it just needs humidity and like the warmth because we're hot but we're not humid in nevada so i take the uh funds and i buy this really cool grow house it's pretty rad i mean i probably couldn't tell you what it costs now but it was probably more than i should have spent on a little grow house. i think it's we got, can go ice fishing with that in utah yeah it's got yeah it's got little vents in it little fan ports little like screens that you can open up probably it's got cost a tray the same in the bottom an ice tent yeah. no i don't think so probably about that much. i don't know what they cost but it has a little tray in the bottom you can put water in there and so i'm like this is perfect so braxton gives me back the plant like we're like co-parents on this plant you know getting along kind of like the christmas breakfast with the x thing it's like he's sharing the pepper plant and i'm taking the pepper plant we're like sharing custody of it he's had it now it's my turn and i kill it (laughs) i put it outside in the grow house and that grow house absolutely cooks that plant i ain't even had it 30 minutes (laughs) <laughs> and I have this house planted, and I got it all set up, and I fry this thing. <laughs> like, I'm I'm doing yard work, and I come around, I'm like, oh, I wonder how it's doing. Like, let's check this beautiful little plant out, because now it's got humidity. I zip the thing open, and it's, it is just cooked. It's turned brown. Like, it has literally me, and it is hotter than Hades in there. I open <laughs> up the s- thing, and I'm like, oh, dude, it, yeah, it's a sauna. Yeah? Dead. Dead or not, <laughs> done did like i thought i could like break some of the branch down let it like start to regrow negative gone yeah. so i feel terrible Shh. like braxton just has just been yeah with the had custody of it all went wrong killed your child <laughs> you get killed your co-parent and I saw, child. I'm like, all right get online searching it out searching out now it's a carolina reaper everybody that's what i'm trying to grow is a carol that's what reaper. you killed that's what i killed so i get online and I find me another one, two pack. So I go for two of them because we've had this plant. It's flowered. It's done the stuff. If there's people out there that start getting on here and listening or watch us, like comment down, find us on like Bookface, Messenger, whatever, Instagram. I feel like this is the hardest thing that I've ever had to do is grow a Carolina Reaper. I mean, come on. Like how, how hard can this absolutely be at the time, I thought this is going to be great. I'm going to grow some Carolina Reapers, hottest pepper in the world. Yeah, that'd be rad. I like hot stuff. Let's do it. So you order the plant. They send Kill it, it to you. Buy another one, two of them, because I think, well, maybe they got a pollinate. I don't know. Like, So where do they, they, they ship thing. them? The plant, are they already started? Yep. I buy these little starters. So the little not starters. Cheap, not cheap. I couldn't tell you how much they cost, but you probably shouldn't pay that much for a plant to get shipped to you. Well, I don't I mean, even know. I'm like, it's like, do I get the insurance? After two years, can like, you really remember what you paid for things? No. Do I get – what? Not that <laughs> well, probably so. Wait, we haven't – It's getting close. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I think to myself, do I need to get the insurance for this thing or what? Like, what if it comes and they're just dead or smushed or something like that for how much you're paying for right. two pepper plants? UPS guys, you never know. I mean, whatever. So – I get these plants and they're beautiful. They're they're like probably three inches tall, two or three inches tall. Okay. They're all boxed in like this little thing, and they're like, you know, they're safe. They're safe little plants. Right. So I'm right. Like, Sweet. I got this grow. So they're gonna give them to I'm you because you're a pepper plant killer. We're not putting the pepper plants outside because you'll cook them. So we're gonna keep the. Now we gotta move this inside. So, I put it in the house. Yeah, in the I feel house. Like that should be house. Not the garage. Be. Yeah, I feel like maybe in the house. we go all the way the other way, climate controlled. First, we cooked okay. it because it was hot. And let's not put it in the garage. We'll just put it in the spare bedroom. So I put okay. it in the spare bedroom, and it and it so far right now you just have the the grow house. 
Yeah. Is there a light in there? House. Nope. No light. No nothing. Okay. So I keep it in the grow house. It doesn't really seem like it's doing what it's supposed to be doing because I don't have a light. So, all right, grow house ain't going to work. I take the grow house, put it out in the garage. Now I take the plant, put it in a big pot so I can put it in the window of the spare bedroom because it needs light. I get that. Like, dude, I'm not like a specialist at gardening, but I know that they need light. So, <laughs> so I put it in the, in the window of this thing, and, it, and it's growing. These things are green. They're growing. They're plushing. Now, I start to get like a little flower, right? Yeah. And so it, it starts to get these little flowers. And and I the plant, when I had it on Toyabi, that's the one Braxton had, right? So I had it on Toyabi, and then Braxton took it when we went to the trailer park. Okay. That, that's kind of how that got transitioned gotcha. to him. It had flowered before also. So they get these little flowers, but, these little red, But never white produced. Flowers, never produced. And okay. I had one. That was the single right single so that's plant. why the single plant the one gotcha. that i killed now i have two because i'm like well maybe they need help like the pollinating thing whatever so i got this thing and it's flourishing the two of them i got a big old planter that they're in so they're kind of separated from each other and they're growing right right so they're slowly growing next to each other and they love each other and i love them and i spray water on them and i do all this stuff and i keep them a little bit watered and they're green they're doing great they kind of start to flower and I'm like, this is it. We're about to we're about to grow peppers. Here they come. And then all the flowers fall off. It's like a soccer game, dude. It's like it's <laughs> all worked up when they get down to the other end, and then it gets kicked all the way back. So same thing, the flowers. They get all worked up, and then they all just fall down. Nothing. Okay. I'm like, great. So I have this other idea. I, I think it's a pretty good idea. Maybe, maybe not. But you got to try it. So – if I take the plants, because they need to pollinate, right? And I seal off the bottom of the door, and I close the bath, the bedroom door. I got a humidifier now. Oh, yeah, I forgot that. Bought a humidifier. So now you've turned so the I got a guest humidifier room into going. a grow house. Yeah. So I, now I got this. <laughs> so I got this. Yeah, so now I got a humidifier. I got this big old humidifier. It's like a 16, I think it goes for 16 hours, whatever it was. It's a, it's a big one, you know, and it'll yeah. sit there. It's got high, low, and it humidifies. So I got the humidifier in there. I got this plant growing. It's green, doing its thing. I need bees. Oh, God. Bees pollinate Let's put some flowers. Bees so, in, put bees correct. in the guest room. I could seal yeah. off the bottom. Oh, And geez. take a little cup of these. You could buy some bees. Let them go in there. I don't see Did the problem. Did you do it? No, man. Tasha wouldn't have that. She's like, <laughs> what? You are not putting bees. I go, I'll seal it off. And ha- so, no. okay. so, dude, Carolina dude. Reapers, and there's honey on the wall. Yeah, now all of a sudden, dude, we're in Jumanji, bro. <laughs> so, don't go anyway, in so there. Now, so, we don't do the bees. So, okay, I got to come up with something else. So, like, I'm, I'm literally like pollinating these things off. You know, you got to go through and pollinate the flower. Yeah. And with a Q-tip to each flower. Full strokes. Yeah, you know, I'm doing it. The one so I read somewhere, you put a toothbrush on there and and, and vibrate it off. Yeah. Like it pedals out. Yeah. Uh, one, yeah, it wasn't. So I do all that stuff. It's still nothing. Nothing happens. This goes Back on for months. Back to the months. grow house. This goes on for oh. months. So now it, we got to get serious. Like this thing's growing. It's a beautiful plant. I think I, people I stopped listening plants. by now. I got this grow house, and now I'm throwing it into the grow house. Now I need lights. So then I start ordering some lights and I put the UV lights in there. Well, now it seems a little cold because now I find out you got to have it like 65 degrees. The dirt has to stay like 65 degrees. All this stuff for this pepper plant. And uh, I buy the grow light. I put it all in there. It starts to flower, do its thing, and nothing. Soccer game again. Gets all about the score. <laughs> we got the flowers. They all fall off. I'm like, oh man, I don't know what to do anymore. So I hit my buddy up and he's like, he says, swing by my house, man. I'll get you some peppers and stuff like that. He does, like, the chocolate reaper. It's not quite the Carolina. And then he has, like, I don't even know, a, a hundred other different kind of peppers. Mushroom okay. peppers, Jamaican peppers, jalapeno okay. peppers. Just, just, just. And I'm like, oh, yeah. He's like, come by. I got some peppers. You know, and I'll, I got a light that I did that helped. So you can come check it out. He's, he's like, I got a greenhouse. And this, I walk in the greenhouse, and I just want to punch him in the throat. <laughs> it, there is like I'll bet he's got 500 peppers growing in this place. 
they're ever they're falling off from the ground. He's like, oh, whoa, look, I got cucumbers. Pulls off these two <laughs> massive cucumbers. Like I didn't even know I had these in here. And there's he's like, oh, those are <laughs> those are chocolate reapers right there. The thing's got sixty seven flowers on it, and there's probably already thirteen peppers growing off, like sprouting off this thing. And I'm like, I don't even know what to do. Like I just want to like rage monster in this place. Gives me a bunch of peppers. So then he says, this is what you got to do. What do you got to do? Spend more money. So let's get <laughs> this light. So he gives me the light, which is on loan for the light. But I'm going to have to buy a light anyways. I have my one light in there. I got my heat lamp in there. I bought this pH thing. It tells me, like, what temperature or moisture uh, of the dirt of the soil. And then I have a little monitor in there now that tells me humidity, temperature, what my highs and lows were, Right. So I feel like I'm I'm making good progress. Then he says you got to get this, and it's like tiger bloom or tiger blossom fertilizer. I'm like, oh yeah, I'll go get that piece of cake, dude. You know how much tiger blossom fertilizer is in a little jug about this big? Liquid? Yeah. I only know because I think I was on the phone with you when you bought it. But yeah, go it's ahead. Yeah, fifty bucks. Yeah, go <laughs> ahead. Sure. Why not? Sure. And then, oh, yeah, I only have this big one of the, the blossom stuff you spray on them when it flowers. Cool. That, yeah, throw that on there. 30 bucks. That's cool. So let's just drop a C note and go and <laughs> just to put some fertilizer on these things. And so we do it. I do it. And I'm not joking you. It's the, the It was glorious. I finally, I'm sorry to keep everybody waiting, but we did it. <laughs> we grew two of these little bastards. Two, two of them. Pepper. Yeah. Two, pe- <laughs> two peppers. Two peppers. Two, two peppers. Pe- I'm pretty sure they're the most expensive pepper ever grown. <laughs> 19 months <For> later. Two, <laughs> 19 months later. Two peppers. And it came months. off the same plant, and the other one ain't doing nothing. Yeah? And then yeah, you go so, to Utah so, for Thanksgiving. Uh, so then this is like, we take a moment of silence. This is the saddest <laughs> thing ever. And so we go to Utah. Because he lives next to a canal. I live next to the canal, the Coleman Canal. We go to Utah. And we come back, and I open up the garage. Because what, what am I going to do? I'm going to come and check my pepper because I've been gone for a week. So I got to <laughs> come check my pepper. The two peppers that are growing. And uh, only one at a time. We only have one right now. They had one. Oh, uh, so at Thanksgiving, I, I have we only one had pepper. one. Yeah, at Thanksgiving one I had one pepper. Yeah, Thanksgiving, I had one pepper. 19 months, one pepper. Yeah. So I'm committed. You're like, it was a mission. $1,000 later. It was a mission. So uh, here it is. I come in and I see these little like pellets on the ground, you know, little brown things, but they're like bigger. They look like mice poop, but they're bigger. Yeah. And I'm like, what the f- is this? And I now it's like, where's Waldo? And now all of a sudden I start seeing all of these little these little turds all over my garage, and I'm like, oh my gosh. And so I I I of course I'm there to check my pepper plant, dude. I open this pepper my pepper plant as I'm walking to my grow house. The side of it has been annihilated like torn open like something savage has gotten into like if you ever see zootopia like when they turn little savage things something savage got into that and it's like it jumped up on like two little tote things to the side of it and tore open like where the fan and stuff's at tore open into it and then i'm like oh my gosh so i unzip it and he's in there that little mother is sitting in the bottom of that thing and I'm like, oh and it my, was a, it's a giant muskrat. muskrat. If you ain't never Ooh. seen a muskrat, look it up. They're disgusting. So here's this huge rat dead. sitting at the bottom. He's in there dead. Well, he ain't dead yet because I kick it and he starts moving. I'm like, oh. So I'm like, well, now I got to unload everything first because I don't want to shoot him with my little BB gun to get him out of there. Like, he's like laying there. I'm pretty sure he's dying because he ate too much peppers. Like, he ate the plant. They was shredded up. He broke the branches off. So I took. 18, 19 months to grow this thing. They ain't never had nothing like that happen before. And this thing jumps in there and just goes zonkers, dude. Like, he, and then, so, anyways, I, I go to move, I move everything in, I go look at him again, he's dead. Thing died in there. I, I just think it was because he ate so many, he ate a, he didn't eat the pepper, but he ate a lot of the leaves and like the branches and stuff. <laughs> the little pepper was still hanging there. And I was like, so I didn't think it would make it. I'm like, dude, because the branch on the edge was broke. And so I was waiting it out. But it had turned all red. It had got all red. Oh, good. And so I was like, okay, well, we're there. So I let it sit and, like, didn't let it do its thing. And then I happened to come out, with, like, the week later because I cleaned everything out. I had it, like, like 
I pulled off the tray out of the bottom and I like cleaned it and Cloroxed it and got it all cleaned back again because I put water the in hole. there. And it, it, uh, duct taped the hole. Yeah, keep that stuff in there. Uh, and so I, I get the rat out of there, throw it away. And, it, and, it, and the other one's starting to come back. The one's really struggling. But it started growing another pepper. I looked, happened to look down in there and because they come out of the flower and they're green. And then as yeah. they come out green and they start to grow, then they turn orange. And then I could see this orange stripe and I was like, what? Second pepper two of them oh yeah after all the shock it still grew pepper after, it was still i think it was already had started sprouting it was like tiny because it starts out like tiny like a little bean and then as it so 20 ish maybe more months we've got two peppers. probably so 19 months yeah probably like 19 months 20 months yeah somewhere yeah. right there two peppers. what'd you do with the pepper so i i did pull i plucked it now and that that happened that is they are a sinful little pepper holy moly dude i didn't think it was something like you see the dudes eat it online or you see like a guy throw the chip in there that has like a little bit of the dust on right. it that's like really nothing when you see him you're like oh please come on no like i didn't have any gloves on so i let it sit there for a little bit then i just took and held the stem you can touch the pepper itself it has like that wax coating on it or whatever but i took it because you cut it open and i'll pull the seeds out of it to open it up so that it'll dry because they won't dry unless you open them up pull the right you know stem or seeds out of it so i do that and i'm like with the knife and i'm just holding it out there and i just peel it because i mean the thing's only like as big around as my thumb yeah and so pick this thing open open it up and i'm letting it sit there well then i go and wash my hand right and i wash them yeah. And I'm like, all right, scrub them down, scrub them down. I'm doing my thing. I kind of smell. I'm like, ooh, I can smell a little bit of that pepper on there. So I rinse them and do my thing and all this stuff. Well, I'm a, I'm a dude, so I got like a bug in my nose. And I reach in there with my thumb to get it, like to hook it and like get that booger out of there. And my nose is on fire. Like six seconds later, I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh my gosh, what is happening? And I'm like, holy cow, there must still be pepper stuff like oils on my fingers. And then I'm like, oh, man, my eyes start to water. And Natasha's sitting there, and she's like, what's up? And like, I'm like, oh, my. I go, there, my nose is jacked up. Like, I, I think I – and she's like, well, how did you get your nose? I'm like, well, I went to pick a booger, like normal, except now it's on fire. But then as I would sniff, it, like, was working its way back. So soon I feel it in the back of my throat. And I'm like, oh, oh, gosh, now my throat's burning. And this goes on for, like, 16, 17, 20 minutes or whatever it was. And I'm just like – so now I'm in, like – getting like detergent soap and like scrubbing on it to to not so if you do it you put some rubber gloves on because it's no joke like it's for real so all right that's that's how a pepper goes i mean if you want i think we're peppers, gonna get a lot of uh carolina reaper uh pepper I think growers out of yeah this, i'm sure people probably know and they're gonna show you that it then we do, takes less than sure. 19 months to get a pepper I hope i'm so. getting one i'm getting one this year yeah, you're gonna do one. Are you? Are I'm you gonna, gonna do, do one, one outside, but I'm gonna put it outside. In the summer, in the in dirt. the Utah summer, put it in a planter box. Yeah. You know, I had a pepper last year. It was just one I got from Home Depot. I don't even remember. It's just a yellow pepper, and it grew quite a few of them. Yeah. But uh, they weren't hot. They weren't anything special. So we're gonna get a. Uh, we're gonna do a Carolina Reaper. A grow and off, yeah. I don't grow know. it, yeah. Just I, I, I hope you, I hope it works, dude. Just remember, wear some rubber gloves. But all right, well, I think then that's what. Let's just wrap that one up. Uh, I hope everybody enjoyed it. Thank you for going on this journey with us. This ride story. With us. Hey, it's a pepper plant. I mean, when you you got to talk about it like that, if it takes twenty months, most two expensive I mean, peppers probably in the world. <laughs> It was the most expensive, first of all. The second one kind of maybe almost messed it up because you got to basically cut the funds in half, but I still think yeah. it's up there pretty well. It's still up there. She's I mean, up there. She probably, you're, you're looking at $500 a pepper. Yeah. No, probably not. Well, I don't know you about that. You had the that, grow house, the light. the. It was a lot. We don't need to talk about that. It's a lot of time. It's over dispersed over a period of time, so. But yeah, uh, yeah. Well, thank you guys for all. Um, thanks for everybody who's listened to the first one. We can, uh, we're kind of getting better at doing it and seeing what's going on and uh, tracking and stuff like that. So we'll kind of be able to get some more stuff out there. Uh, you guys can comment on this on the YouTube. 
channel that we have, and that's uh, Flapping Your Gums uh, with Vinny and Hesse. That's on YouTube. And then we're on Spotify, Pandora, and also Applecast. There you go. So, all right. Well, thanks, everybody, for hanging with us. Uh, I'm Hesse. This is Vinny. And we will get with you. This is flapping your gums, and we'll hit you uh, here. And I'm gonna we're gonna try to go in the next week, probably two weeks. I think, Vinny. Yeah. All right, man. Yeah. I love yeah. you, brother. About a week. Thanks. All right, love you too, bro. Let's do it. Yeah, uh, yeah. And then also, we want to send out our love and prayers to uh, Demar Hamlin, the Bills safety. Uh, we're, we we pray for him and his family and just the people around him. Uh, our prayers to you. Uh, just just recovery. And that the good Lord has a His hand in your hand and your body and your health, and so we are just uh, just praying for you and and hope that all goes well and just faith that the good Lord will take care of you and through all your stuff and with your family too. So uh, good luck, man. Yes, good luck. All right, we'll see you guys. See you on the next one.